Hey guys, happy Saturday morning. I have to talk to you about something and um, I know that I have a lot more followers on Facebook that respond. Um, when I was going to Living Faith Church, a lot of people said, Val, keep speaking up, Val, keep talking. So I am gonna talk and I'm gonna talk about something that I've never heard about, um, but you guys need to know this and if you're, especially if you're a parent, or even if you know people with children, please listen to this. Please listen to this. I'm gonna to try to make it as short as possible. I was gonna write it out, but people don't read. I wanna to talk to you about the whole um, be kind agenda, the anti-bullying agenda. And I'm also gonna talk about this unicorn thing that's out there right now with the kids. Please listen to me, okay? Um, what, what Satan does is he is a master deceiver and he will take good and wrap evil, take good and wrap it around evil. Um, it's like when you have to feed a dog a pill, you, you give him cheese around it so that he can swallow it. And we all wanna be kind. The Bible tells us to be kind. The Bible says that we have a continuing debt of love to each other. I owe you love just because you're a human being, not any reason. And we know as Christians that we don't hate gay people, but we call it out. Um, and so anyway, yesterday there was this video, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this video, and, and please, it's sickening, but you need to watch it. And it was a promotion for the Drag Queen Story Hour that is going on in East Meadow, Long Island, New York, in the library. The library also has psychics, which I am not gonna get into. The library promotes so much stuff. You have to really keep your eyes open. And before I get into the whole be kind thing, um, I'm just gonna tell you that, well, let me get into it and then I'm gonna tell you why you have to be knowledgeable and why you have to speak up. Um, you're not going to change the world and evil is going to persist. But anyway, so let me get into this. Be kind. I hear it everywhere. I see t-shirts and it angers me when people put a t-shirt on that says be kind. And it's like, why? You should be kind. Of course I should be kind. But here's the problem. If I want you to watch the drag queen video and I want you to see the agenda behind it, the anti-bullying agenda. This whole anti-bullying thing, of course bullying is horrible in school. I was bullied. I went to an all-black school in the South, and no one would talk to me. And even the teachers bullied me because I was white. I probably would have been one of those people that would have went with a gun and shot up everybody. I was quiet and I endured it. And I was bullied to the utmost. My life was tormented. I do not like bullying, but there's an agenda behind the the anti-bullying thing. So anyway, we have this drag queen story hour <clears throat> and he talks about being kind to people. And the reason they're having the drag queen story hour is so that we can understand people and love them. And he even tells the children, see, you can be a drag queen too. Um, so he, they, the, the enemy has this anti-bullying thing because if you say that homosexuality is wrong or you say to your children, honey, I know there's homosexuals and we shouldn't hate them, but that's not a really healthy lifestyle choice. And there's a lot, and explain to them why, then you're being a bully when you say the truth to your children. You're being a bully when you say the truth because you're not being loving. Do you understand? Do you see the, the, the message behind it? Uh, Long Island has this LGBTQ clubs in the school and all over, and it's all about the rainbow and being kind and accepting homosexuality. The enemy is feeding this. Now I had, um, all right, let me, let me just explain the other agendas and then I'm gonna talk about why you should say things. Um, so we have this be kind, anti-bullying. It's the same thing as the tolerant. We heard the tolerant thing over and over again. And then we realized 
tolerate anything but Christianity. So they were becoming intolerant in the name of tolerance. And we called them out on that and said, you people are not tolerant. And guess what? You don't hear about being tolerant anymore. You hear about being kind. It's the same thing. Okay. Now, I want to talk to you about the unicorn. And I see all these kids with the unicorns, and I think it's really cool. My granddaughter wanted a unicorn shirt. She has no idea what it is. The parents don't know what the agenda is behind it. But look at the drag queen video that I have on Facebook, and you will see that what he's saying is, use your imagination, and you too, kids, can be a drag queen. If you're a boy, imagine yourself as a girl. And this whole unicorn thing is, is gender fluidity. Imagine yourself whatever you want to be. Don't accept reality. Be what you want to be. And that's really what's behind the unicorn thing, people. It's pushing the homosexual agenda. And I really want to tell you something. These are hard truths. I don't want to be the one to tell them because people hate me. Valerie, stop this. But I want to tell you people again. I keep telling you. There is an association called the National Association of Man-Boy Love. And this association um, has been waiting for almost 30 years. I've, I've, I read about it when my kids were little. They're now 27 and 29 years old. And they're waiting for homosexuality to be the norm. And they are going to make man-boy love the norm. How could that be, Valerie? It would never happen. Honey, I never thought I'd see the Drag Queen Story Hour. Yes, it is happening. Okay? The more we, the more we swallow the pill, the more we keep accepting these things, the more they're going to feed us more things. And the National Association of Man-Boy Love, NAMBLA, look it up. They are powerful. They have a lot of money. They're extremely rich, powerful people. And they've been around for decades, people. I don't want to know these truths either. I want to be, I want to be the person who says, hey, I'm just waiting for Jesus to come. I'm just going to spread the gospel. But honey, Satan is taking people down with him in these manners and trapping, especially homosexuality, he is trapping kids into homosexuality. And once he has them, and I have spoken with homosexuals, and it is not a fun lifestyle. It is hell. He traps them into a homosexual lifestyle. And then he feeds them lies that Christians hate you. Don't go to church. They'll never accept you. That's what, ha that's what happens. If you can know the truth and rescue one person from that lie, isn't it worth knowing the truth? For instance, so we say, okay, let's not fight it. The wickedness is getting worse. I've been fighting this stuff forever. It's gotten worse. And I say, why fight it? It's gotten worse. But let me tell you a story. And I owned a music store on Long Island, and I have seen kids come in confused, thinking that they're gay, don't even know if they're gay and changing their sexual identity. This never happened. They're confused because people like the drag queen tells them, you're not really boy or girl, you can be what you wanna be. And when they start going through puberty and start having confusion as to things, I remember myself, I, I was a teenager and I played trumpet and I was kind of tomboyish and I wondered what's wrong with me. If I was, if I was in that place today, I probably would have thought I was gay because I wasn't as feminine. I'm a woman. No, there's nothing can change me from being a woman, whether I'm more feminine or girly or whatever than other women. It doesn't change the fact that I'm a woman. But I did question that when I was a teenager because I wondered why I was such a tomboy. So anyway, I own this music store and I had a lot of kids come in that had major problems. And believe me, these kids that were suffering with identity, they were suffering. They were suffering. They weren't happy. Oh, I'm a boy and I'm a girl and I'm changing my gender. No, these kids were suffering. I had one woman come in and she said, because uh, the, the parents used to sit with me and talk to me about their problems and things. And she said, my son's cutting. I don't know what's going on. I was shocked because he looked like such a 
together boy, really good looking, nice boy, played the guitar, wonderful kid, good family. And he said, my, she said, my son's cutting himself and I don't know what's going on. So as the weeks passed, she came to me and she said, we finally got to the bottom of it. Um, he's gay. And I said, has he acted out on it? And she said, yes. So she says, we got him a counselor. Now, because I'm knowledgeable, I said, well, what kind of, what is the counselor telling him? And the counselor's telling him to just accept his identity as a gay person, helping him to accept himself as a gay person. And the counselor saying that's the reason why he's cutting himself is because he has not accepted this identity. Honey, this counselor is putting him deeper into homosexuality, deeper into confusion, and is not helping him at all. And that's what I told the mom. I said, please be careful. This is an agenda. Maybe find out why he um, thinks he's gay. And I referred her to uh, a thing called Free, F-R-E-E, -E, in New York City, where they, where they help homosexuals sort things out, truly. And I know a lot of people that have come out of homosexualities and have very good relationships. So don't, don't buy the lie that they can't. So anyways, um, people, I didn't change the homosexual agenda. Um, I can't stop evil from happening. Jesus is coming and it's going to get worse. But by talking to that one parent, I helped one person. By being knowledgeable and talking to people, I helped one person, and that, my friends, is being kind. So please listen to this video, think about what I have to say, and be kind, tell the truth. Thank you.